hands-on learning, it really involves all the senses. And we know now through neuroeducational practices that Montessori had it right a long time ago, right? And it really helps students understand through experience. Hi everyone, I'm Monica from Scola. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Scola School Chat video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome school interviews. Ready to look at some schools? I know I am. Let's jump right into it. Hello, this is Jaime Martinez with Scola. Today we're here at Coral Reef Montessori Academy Charter School with Dr. Golden. Thank you for having us so much. No, thank you for, for coming, for visiting our school. We really appreciate it. No, it's great being here. Uh, love walking around your school, touring it. Definitely one of the biggest Montessori campuses we've walked through. Uh, love to learn more about your mission and what you guys do here. Okay, so we're in our 23rd year. Uh, my business partner, Dr. Juliet King, who by the way is in Orlando giving an address. Um, she was voted through the American Montessori Society um, the living legacy for 2023. Mm -hmm. Um, her and I were both teachers in Dade County Public Schools and we really wanted to make Montessori accessible to all kids. Mm. And unlike magnet programs that have two programs under one roof, we wanted to provide Montessori for everyone and the charter opportunity was like the perfect thing to do. So um, our mission has always been accessibility for everyone in terms of Montessori, but also we really um, have a social justice um, an equity mission and we really are trying to become liberatory educators and I say trying because it's an ongoing process mm -hmm. and what that means is really um, uh, putting that philosophy of transformation human transformation um, into practice for ourselves for our students for our parents also keeping in mind that um, the interconnectedness of the environment and environmental sustainability is really a part of that social justice mission. So it's a combination of all of those things that really kind of make us a unique school. Yeah, that's very special, especially coming from a public charter school and how you know many folks might not realize, but this is free. And, right. And this is accessible for all the community. So um, that's, that's great that you guys are able to do that. Well, we have a preschool, a fee-based preschool, but we take um, government funds to subsidize for our pre-K threes and fours. And we're looking into even partnering with Head Start so more people can have accessibility. But the wonderful thing about that is that once students are in our VPK program, our pre-K four program, they automatically get into our charter. They don't have to do a lottery. So we're really proud about that. We're really proud about the fact that, you know, we are, there's only 19 schools in the country mm. Uh, public schools that are accredit accredited through American Montessori Society and we're one of those 19 so we're wow. also really proud of that. Wow that's so great and very special. Yes yes it is and you know like I said um, our teachers are, are both Montessori credentialed and state certified. A lot of people will use the name Montessori uh, it's not necessarily patent and they're not really qualified. Right. Uh, but we all our teachers here are so we're really proud about that. Yeah, and, and that kind of goes to our next question, right? So what uh, what makes your school? What are the top three things uh, that make your schools different from other schools? I think that unique diversity that we really um, gear towards makes us very um, different than most Montessori schools that tend to be in the private sector and you know tend not to be as diverse. Um, and that's, you know, racial, ethnic, religious diversity, socioeconomic diversity, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of diversity. I think that really makes us unique. I think the size also makes us unique, right? We have over 600 students here and we still manage to keep that family community feeling. And I think our longevity makes us unique. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the Montessori programs in the public schools in Miami-Dade have closed down. We started as teachers working in those, pro those programs they started in the 80s and a lot of them have closed down. So we are still a public school in Miami-Dade that offers Montessori. Well, and one thing that I think makes you guys very special, as I said before, this is one of the largest uh, Montessori schools that we visited. Uh, your campus is incredible. And can you talk a little bit more about that, how that came about? Sure, we were really lucky and we're on about eight and a half acres. Mm. Um, and we kept 
some of the natural hammock um, that was founded here. Um, and so many people have said when they come visit us, wow, what an amazing campus. And we were very lucky because um, Coral Reef Montessori Academy is a non-for-profit. We have a 501c3, but we were able to lock into buying this property mm -hmm. before the incredible boom um, took place in Miami where real estate just skyrocketed. So we've been able to do that and um, we're really happy. We have a, our brand new wing is LEED certified. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a really, for those people who don't know that, that's a, you know, building with an environmental sustainability approach. It's very difficult to do and we managed to do that. So we're no, proud about that's that. That's very special and how fortunate that you're able to have like, such great facilities for, for the students. And that kind of goes into the next question in terms of the teaching style. Um, can you talk a little bit about Montessori, especially for folks that might not be familiar with it? Sure. So Montessori pedagogy has been around for quite some time, uh, about a, over about 150 years. Um, Maria Montessori was a doctor scientist and, you know, it's all about preparation of the environment, like really um, approaching things from a way that really centers the student, mm -hmm. the child, as opposed to the adult. And it really requires the adult to do a lot of self-reflection, self-preparation, um, not just academically, but spiritually, socially, in every aspect. This pedagogy is wonderful for all kids, right? Not just um, advanced children, but children who might need some extra help as well. We really, if you're following the child, which is a real famous model yeah. from Dr. Montessori, it's really accessible and wonderful for everyone. Might not be wonderful for every parent because parents don't understand it, but for every child, it is the best program it really is and i think dr king would agree to that and she's been te she was teaching since 1969 so wow. that's one of her things that she said this is the best educational program she ever came and stumbled upon dr golden can you tell especially parents who are not familiar with the montessori you know pedagogy what the organized chaos like looks like and feels like um, in the classroom sure so Again, it's very hands-on learning. It really involves all the senses. And we know now through neuroeducational practices that Montessori had it right a long time ago, mm -hmm. right? And it really helps students understand through experience, through lived experience, not just paper, pencil, this is why, but they really begin to understand concepts and live those concepts. So that's really something that's very unique. The multi-age is very unique. Older kids working with younger kids, that's a wonderful um, thing on many levels, social levels as well. And it is extremely organized. Uh, you could not do this unless you had a real structure right. to make it work, right? Otherwise it would be chaotic. So parents don't understand that. Parents don't understand that younger kids learn through repetition. And that observation is really important. We get a lot of information and teachers really approach the classroom in that way, like scientists. Yeah, and, and one thing that I think a lot of parents saw, uh, will see and what we saw as we walk into the classrooms, right, is you have the same tools, uh, whether you're in a pre-K class all the way up. And so can you speak a little bit to those? Sure. The, it's very interesting that you noticed that because there are, um, they're not exactly the same, but they build on one another. And everything goes back to, you know, in math, everything goes back to our decimal system, our system of 10. And that happens all the way from you know preschool all the way up you know to our upper elementary program then by the time they get in middle school they're completely abstracting and they're really looking to make an impact on society you know through service learning and uh, group projects and things like that but it's a it is a it, there is a continuity in the curriculum that's really important and we really pride ourselves on making that happen and really straight staying true to the Montessori as much as possible. Mm. And for families who might not know where you are, can you tell us uh, where can they find the school? Sure, we're located in the South Dade area. Uh, we're in between Cutler Bay and Ghouls, um, but our students can come from any neighborhood. So we really attract folks. No boundaries. No boundaries. Yeah. They can be as far north as FIU, um, Southwest 8th Street, um, and come all the way down to the Redlands or Homestead and anything in between, right? So we attract kids from everywhere. 
And we're really proud of that. You know, we have a really wonderful community here. And do you have a website that they can visit? Sure. Our website is coralreefmontessori.org. Um, but there have been articles that have been written about our school because we're one of the oldest charter schools in the state of Florida mm -hmm. and in Miami. Um, you Google our name and things come up, positive things come up, thankfully. And you can also learn more information about this school on Scola.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Bowman, for Thank you. Us. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's Scola School Chat video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of our awesome videos, make sure to click here. And to stay up to date with all the awesome videos we post and subscribe to our channel, make sure to click here. See you on the next one. Thank you.